didn't know. I did not do a slide video. Okay. Hey. Uh, I hit record, but I didn't see a little pop up. I didn't see a pop up either. Maybe once I gave permission, it just saved the permission. I guess so. It says it's recording. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then I think we are good to go. Are we? <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's been less than a week. So it has. Hey. Our strategist is here today with us. She will probably lose interest part way through and disappear. But okay. No. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, then your name. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not following YouTube protocol. I'm Melissa. I'm Mark. That's May. <laughs> Welcome to our YouTube video. <laughs> 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 because my child knows more about how to make a YouTube video than I do. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> I know I said it last week and and the time before that, but I'm, apparently I'm old. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Um, go and watch our previous video for a recap of what the hell's going on. Um, <laughs> we just got out of the sewers and are into this thing with the drakes. Uh, yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> because we want to be able to breathe underwater so that we can like swim down the sewer and find the source of the corruption or something. And sword? No, right. not swimming down. They're not <laughs> sword related. How is that sanitary at all? Sandwiches? No. Please, buddy. Shush. My strategist is a little silly today. I apologize. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, I don't want to swim down the sewers at all, but water breathing seemed like a cool thing to have anyway, so we figured we'd go get some water breathing. Yeah, but it's still breathing like sewage. Yeah, I don't think we're going to end up being like three eyed salmon or something like that. It's gross. We're yeah. gonna contract the sort of disease. I guess the fantasy game can mimic real life. Yeah. <laughs> um, Maybe we'll retire after we swim down the sewer. <laughs> so we are we did have we did leave the sewers, right? Mm -hmm. So it makes sense for us to do a city event and a road event. Yeah, because this is the Drake Nest is like way up in the mountains. We're at the Drake okay. Nest. Okay. Yeah. Can you? So, time to do a city event. Yes. When we climb dripping out of the sewers. And I, you know, nice and big hair on my screen now. My eyes going to play. Yes, we're starting to play. We're starting to play. Uh, <laughs> you hear screams from the south as you approach the docks and see a group of women running toward you in a panic. An invasion! They yell as they race by you nearly knocking you over. Uh, you hurry to the docks, find a crowd of workers on edge, armed with a, with makeshift weapons and circling one particular pier. Standing at the far end of the wooden planks is a group of workers, terrifying crab-like monsters as big as an inox and equally ferocious. Like, look. <laughs> said these workers don't appear to be hostile. They are simply standing on the dock, clacking their claws in strange rhythm. Do you raise arms and fight them? Or do we approach them and attempt to communicate? I like feel like fight. Uh, the strategist says fight, but I was going to say that shouldn't we at least try to talk to them before? Like, tell them to go away and then fight them? Again, yeah, nice and then fight. I think so. I, 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 I always like option C, which is somewhere in between option A and option B. Right. Option C, just watch the locals deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Option C, go to bar, ignore issues going on in Gloomhaven. <laughs> I think we should go with option B. Yeah, I agree. The strategist does it, but... Fight. 
No, we're Why talking to them. Me? We're talking to them first. We're being nice people. We don't want to just attack people just because they're different. Yeah. No fight if you mean. Oh. Okay. Uh, the crowd parts as you move toward the dock with both confidence and care. The lurkers notice your approach and continue to clack in your direction. <laughs> um, yeah. You call to them and ask, why are they here? But all you get in response is a change in the tempo of their clacking. When you express confusion, they clack again in frustration and scuttle back into the ocean. The crowd is very impressed that you managed to ward off the creatures without using force. To reputation. Ooh. That brings us up to 10. 10? That's exciting. That's exciting about 10. Well, eventually we'll get discounts at, more discounts at the store, which is nice because the, the stuff. No, not the boxes at the store. You yeah. want to read the relevant? Sure. You are walking down the road when the sound of many wings pulled your gaze to the sky. Above you, you see a large flock of red birds flying southward. At that height, you figure a well-aimed arrow could bring one of them down to make a nice meal. Do we shoot at the birds or let them pass undisturbed? Hmm. Uh, I feel like we let them pass undisturbed because, like, if we shoot and we miss, then the arrow's coming back down on us. Are they directly overhead? I don't know. Above you, yeah. Now you are just one away. Red birds. What's the and red? What, what, maybe, they're, maybe they're not birds. Maybe it's like they're further up and they're drakes. Red is a strange color for a bird, unless it's a cardinal. <laughs> <laughs> they or, are like, named. Uh, I understand, but I don't think we're in Hawaii. We're in Gloomhaven, so I think I I think that it it could. I feel like stop. I feel like um, it could potentially go very wrong if we shoot at them. Mm -mm. Okay, you convinced me. <laughs> we will do option B. No effect. See, we would have wasted an arrow. Ooh, we put the card back in the deck. Interesting. So we can shoot at the red birds another day. The red okay. birds that will turn out to be dragons. Okay. You did that, the, your audio did that weird robot thing again. Mm. It only ah. happens every once in a while, but I'll, every once in a while it's like. <laughs> yeah, I know that. It's right, Mike. Uh, hmm. I have an open door. Is that? And it's a little windy outside. Is it getting? No, warm? it's it's definitely like corrupted audio sound. It's not like a environmental. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I set this up. Scenario forty-three, mm -hmm. and I set. Normal difficulty instead of easy. Okay. Rotate this sucker. Oh, that's a little too close. Yeah. Using the OBS. Like my new phone screen is a little bit bigger than my old phone screen. Oh, but that's nice because it's it does the sideways, which before it, it didn't do that. It did like it only did portrait instead of landscape. Oh, you're right. It's doing two columns now. Sweet. Is that a good view? Yeah, we can see it. I'm gonna center it. Cool. So what what is our difficulty level? One. Okay. Is that right? I think that I think that that's easy because we're level four. Mm-hmm. 
divided by two is two. I think two is, I think two is normal and one is easy. Okay, let me change it. Get ready for party wipe, everybody. Full party wipe. kind of wipe. like that alien. Like the feet and then two eyes. Oh, I see, yeah. Alien or human. Well, yeah, or it looks like a dungeon. Looks like a, a, a little way you know get out of. Okay, um, so now we need to do the uh, scenario goals. Right, and the intro. Oh, right, and read the intro. Those are traps. Oh. Providing you with exposition, may. Um, As she asks all of the questions. Okay, here's yours. Okay. Oh, I'm definitely doing that one. <laughs> that one would be easy. <laughs> I'm going to show everybody. So don't look. So this is what I'm doing. If you have watched any of the videos before, you know that that one will be easy for me. <laughs> I've got an easy one as well. <laughs> don't look. Don't look. You looked. Go look. <laughs> okay, we can look right. again. Where are we starting? I'm starting in the corner. Because this guy seems like he might be bad for my squishiness. Squishy. Yes, I'm quite squishy. If you flank him, then I get bonus. If we both charge him, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have charging abilities. <laughs> I have sit back and like. Well, if you things. like were two spaces away and just move two spaces, then I could get a bonus in hitting him. Where do you want me to start? Like right here. I can't. Oh, okay. So like in the other. So then you can use any card to move two spaces. And then That's I'll true. Be there, and then we can hit him. I don't know. See, all of, the main oh. issue I have with that is that um, is that I all of my stuff is at range. I don't have a lot of like whack the person next to me. I guess I could whack him for two, but all my stuff. Let me see if I actually have an attack that is not a, at range. I can immobilize him. It's just that I have so many cards that do extra damage if an ally is flanking him. Yeah, I don't have, I'm, I can immobilize him and run away. <laughs> Everything else is ranged. <laughs> right. But I do more damage than you anyway. Um, Please stop. So this one would add one extra damage, so it'd be four instead of three. This one would add two, so it'd be five instead of three. And this one adds a wound if uh, an ally is adjacent. Yeah, so I'd have to use a bottom, a bottom of a card to move those two. And then all my stuff at the top is ranged. Yeah. Except for one of my eight. AOE, and I don't want to use that in room one. But you can shoot him and then move. I guess I could shoot him and then move. That makes sense. But then the issue is I would have to move after you. Which is hard. Because yeah. I'm not very I fast. Have to move before him. Yeah. It might be doable. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> We plan it perfectly. Mm 
No. It would just be better if we had third person to play a tank. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need. I don't think our strategist May is quite ready for this level of play, though. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to go to original pen. You're in the corner there. A tank. A tank is somebody who runs in and smashes the bad guys. We don't know how fast these guys are. I win. You're you're not ready, kiddo, because you have to um, be able to plan, do a lot of planning. There's a lot of planning involved. But I appreciate that you want I'm to help. Check, I'm I'm check, I'm check, I'm check. <laughs> Um, you can't just use your hand. That's not how this works. This guy is number six. Okay, so he's got retaliate, range two, shield four. Jeez. He's got four shield? Yeah. Uh... How many of these guys are we going to have to fight? Oh, we haven't read the flavor, flavoring text. Is this the only elite one of these guys we have to do? Yes. I don't know. So we went from, we went from uh, like difficulty of one to difficulty two now, yes. right? Yep. Okay. Um, is he the only elite? Yeah. I think he's the only one, in which case I could use my piercing bow against him, but... I need to like be willing to hit hard. I don't know that I have the ability to hit hard enough. How many health does he have? Six. Six health? No. Sorry, four. Four health. Oh, I might be able to do that. Yeah, four. Okay. Uh, uh, oh my, you I think I can help you to breathe underwater? How so adorable. Hale stares at you with an exasperated look. I mean, what do you think I am? Where would I even begin? Hale turns around and begins to pace. You need Drake scales, of course, something to filter the air out of the water. And if you can just consider water's separate elemental properties, she trails off and disappears in the process. I think there's more on the next page. Oh, yeah. Uh, you are used to her behavior by now and wait patiently for her return. It takes an hour. <laughs> Okay, yes, you have intrigued me. I accept your proposal. Bring me some drake scales and I'll see what I can do. I know of a drake nest on the northern border of the Dagger Forest. I'll draw you a map. The map's not great, but it does get you to the mouth of the cave, and there is a distinct hissing emanating from within. Hale wants you to gather as many scales as you can carry, so it's time to get to slaughtering. We keep ending up in these situations where we have to embrace we're, slaughter. We're definitely the bad guys. <laughs> We didn't shoot the birds, though, and we talked the crabs off the pier. That's we are definitely, good. like, chaotic neutral. Drakes, you have something we need. We will kill you to gain more power. Mm -hmm. We need it so that we can get them to stop poisoning the villagers. I guess so. Yeah, we're chaotic neutral. Um, I'm usually chaotic good. This is different for me. <laughs> I don't have any piercing things. I don't think. All I can hope to do is like a lot of damage, right? Yeah. The thing is, is that I actually have something that could probably kill him outright. But then I lose the card for the rest of the... It seems early to be burning cards. Yeah, but this might be our toughest guy here. I don't know. I bet the drakes are tough. Do we know what the drake... What the? I can add one to just see what they look like. So the rending drakes have can do wound. They have seven hit points, and the spitting drakes 
can muddle and they have eight hit points. But otherwise, they don't have anything special going on. Do we have any elites? It doesn't look like there's many elites. No. So this is definitely going to be our hardest guy, just because he has shield four. Yeah. Yeah, because that means that if you don't have pierce, then you have to do at least five damage to get through it. Yeah. Or and four damage plus a really good attack roll. I can burn through my invisibility. I don't know if we want to burn through invisibility this early either, though. So why don't I do my... I'm going to attempt to kill him. Let's put it that way. OK. And then hopefully we won't need that card later. It'll be all right. OK. Well, then I'm going to party wipe. <laughs> oh, wait. That's not going to work. I feel like we should have you just shoot him and then move up to him. And then I'm going to go after you. And if he's still alive, then I'll try to whack him. OK, let me see if I can get close to him quickly. Mm. Not close, but like within range. Okay, I can do this. I can hit him. Well, what I mean is like, if we go back to the plan, to the other plan where you start here, uh -huh. then you shoot him and then move to, and then I'll come in and I'll try to finish him off. Cause I get to do two extra damage if you're next to him. That wouldn't burn a card for me then. Hmm. Then I could, I could still use Pierce though, so that we can, I can get some, because if the other ones don't have shield, I might as well use my piercing bow now. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm removing. Then I need to go after you, so I need to do. Actually, here we go. I told you the strategist would get bored. Shit, that's not good. Um, okay, this might be bad because I'm probably going to be moving after him too. I've got 93. <laughs> I have 17. He won't move though if I'm up next to him. He's just going to whack me though. Yeah. He's going to move attack range. Oh, if it's ranged, he's got to back up at least. He's going to back up. So this won't work. Oh, well. Okay. But, um, but anyways, you go first. OK. I'm going to use my piercing bow, which lets me ignore his shield. I'm attacking three, range three. Mm -hmm. And I got plus one, so I'm attacking four. I'm ignoring his shield, he's dead. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was fast. Good job. Thank you. And then I guess I'm going to move to just towards the loot. I don't know. Yeah, towards the loot. And I didn't burn a card. Wow, OK. My my attack modifier deck has gotten pretty good because of all of my perks. I can grab the loot. 
Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. Grab the loot. The... I don't know why I even bother putting the loot out. I should just give it to you. Attack the air. <laughs> All right, next turn. Next turn. Okay. Wait, so we have to kill eight of these guys. How many yeah, are going to. That guy didn't count. It's eight drakes. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's twelve. Well, we only have to kill eight of them. Because it's two times, no, four times the number of characters. Right. Well, probably gonna run in. What are you drinking today? It's the Guinness again. That's decent. I don't know what I should do. I'm going to try this <coughs> guy and this guy. I keep putting down the cards I intend to play in random locations on the table, so then I'm like, what did I do? I have uh, 36. I have 18. This might not go as well as I hoped. Oops. OK, you first. All right. I guess I'm going to go open the door. One, two, three. Open the door. Spawn bad guys, such as they are. Three, uh, let's see, two of those guys. Did I get that right? Those four total? Uh, yeah. All right, so that guy there. Um, those two guys are five and six. Does he have shield too? Ugh, these flame demons are terrible. He does, but it's only shield three instead of four this time at least. Okay. Well, I used my pierce bow, so I don't have any other piercing. Yeah. Hello. Well, it's still, I can still do the turn invisible and whack someone for double damage if we need to. Okay. But it, it costs that card. 
Okay, um, so now that I'm in the doorway mm -hmm. and I'm out of move, I'm gonna shoot this guy over here, I guess, the one by the boulder. Uh, they're both by the boulder. The one on my right, my uh -huh. territory right, yep. Um, for attack two and poison. So I, well, attack one and poison. So he's now poisoned and he is down to six hit points. So that means he take we get like a an extra point of damage against him. Yeah. And I'm done. That's my turn. Okay. Um Oh, I need a draw for them. Ooh. Oh, whoops. They're going before me. The drakes are going before me. So this guy uh, doesn't move. He shields himself and heals himself and strengthens himself, but otherwise doesn't do anything. These guys both move five and attack two. Uh, they're attacking you. <laughs> yeah, they are. And they do a wound. No, I don't wound. want a wound. Okay, so this guy's going to go one, two, three, I guess. An attack two on you, drawing a minus one, one point of damage. Okay, but I get a wound, right? Yeah. This guy go one, two, three. And draw a minus one also, so one point of damage. I can't have two wounds, right? I don't think so, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need to heal myself. I will get dead fast. At least they both didn't do that much damage. It's true. Okay, now it's my turn. Uh, man. That's what I get for being bold and opening a door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move four. One, two, three. Oh man. This is bad. I think I need to stand behind you because I'm using my bow this time. Okay. That's fine. Is the flame demon going to wipe me out here in a hot second? Oh, I don't know. Wait, the flame demon's going to move two, attack four, range two. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll get closer to it so that you don't get hit. But I'm going to be at a disadvantage. But luckily, I use this card that uh, I get an advantage. So I think those two cancel each other out. Probably, yeah. And then I'm attacking. You know, I could attack him. One, yeah, two. you could attack him without disadvantage. Right. I attack him, I would get advantage. He's got the shield three. I would do three damage plus whatever. So I might not do anything to him. Or you could attack this guy that's on the other side of me, also without getting disadvantage. Okay. So it's only disadvantage if you're if you're if the guy you're attacking is right next to you? I think. Let me check out the thing about range. Okay. Any range attack targeting an adjacent enemy. So as long as you're targeting a non-adjacent enemy, you'll, you're fine. Okay. Um, well then, I will shoot this guy then. Okay. Because then I'll be able to draw two cards and pick which one I like. And I guess that's it. And then uh, I'm, I'm going to summon a skeleton afterwards. Uh, but first I'm going to attack him. Uh, plus zero and... Plus two. 
So five points of damage to this guy. So number five. So So, your microphone just did something weird again. I'm summoning a skeleton. Okay. Right there. Right there. Okay. And the skeleton doesn't go, right? Not on my turn. No, not not yet. Okay. Next and then turn. uh on, not on the summoned turn. But now the uh flame demon goes. It's gonna it doesn't need a move. Yeah, it does. It does need a Range move. of two, right? Yeah, it moves one, I guess. Yeah. And then it shoots the skeleton. Mm hmm. For attack of four and fire. <laughs> Great. Draws a times two. <laughs> well, I think that skeleton's dead. Yep, your skeleton's dead. <laughs> well, at least he didn't hit me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. End of turn. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty nasty demon there. Now oh, would be a I'm going to do that. And then. That. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, I've got eleven. I have nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, me first. This guy who's right next to you, I'm gonna attack him for four. Okay. Um, you get plus one because he's poisoned. The one that's next to you as well? Mm -hmm. So you get plus one. Okay, so that's five. Mm -hmm. Should I use my goggles or anything like that? Or save it? Didn't you just use your goggles to get advantage before or no? No, that was my card. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, I guess so. He's got six. Because if you long rest, you can get them back. Yeah, but maybe I should save it for this demon guy. Yeah, that might, because the, the demon guy has shielding and all right, I'll save it. So, so four times no, two. Five. Oh my gosh. Wait, you have a bless card in there? What? Did you forget to take your bless card out after the last game? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> four plus one. Okay. But five, also, five but also so six, because you already have plus one to make you five. So six. So he's dead. I yes. see that. That's beautiful, kiddo. I'm in the middle of something, though. Thank you. Uh, uh, geez. Can you not be doing that right back there? Well, why don't you let him take him out to go run around or something, kiddo? I'm going to move one space to just grab the loot. That's all I can do. As usual, why did I put the loot there? Your turn. Okay. So I am going to immobilize this guy and then move two. So he's immobilized. Can't move. And I'm moving one. Do I want to move two or do I just want to move back one? Why do you want to move? Oh, so you can shoot him or something? So I can shoot him and so he can't shoot. If What is he doing? Yeah, see, he doesn't have range. 
So I just want to be out of range so he doesn't hit me. He hit me, not you, because I went before you. That's true, but still. But if you're next to him, next to my attack, then I get a bonus. All right, fine. I just immobilize him. <laughs> and, then, and then I heal myself for two. I have a heal. Okay. Oh, no, never mind. I heal myself for getting rid of my wound. Right. No more wound. Okay, that's the thing that needs to not happen. What was that? That was the puppy taking Eric's headphones. <laughs> um, puppy, go outside. Go. No, that's not going outside. That's cuddling. Okay, so this, the Drake uh, doesn't move and attacks me for four. Yes. Plus zero. And wounds. Oh, no. So, and wounds you? Mm hmm Shoot. Okay, so I guess I need to probably heal you next. Yeah. I'm at, I'm at eight. Eight? Oh. Somehow I had you at nine. Yeah, many... last, last game I mistakenly told you I had 13 hit points. I actually have 12. Oh, okay. Never mind then. <laughs> we were never close to dying. No, we were never close to dying, but okay. So we need some healing to happen. Yeah, okay. And the other guy, attack three, target all adjacent enemies. No one's adjacent to him. What does that symbol mean? He uses up whatever that thing behind it is. But only if we had it, right? The ice one. Yeah, I think so. He would suffer one damage, but we don't actually have it. No. Okay. Um, the other guy attacks range three, but no one's in range, so he doesn't do anything either. Yep, but he loses his strength in from last turn, too. Yeah. Okay, next turn. Can you hear that in the background, by the way? Yeah, but it's not, it doesn't, it's not that big a deal. Okay. What is it? Like Mulan or something? It's uh, How to Train Your Dragon at apparently top volume. <laughs> well, you, she really, really wants to train that dragon. <laughs> uh, geez, I don't know what to do here. These cards suck. <laughs> I think I need to do this. Okay, I've got uh, 12? I have 20. Oh no. First. Move four, attack two, range three. I'm in range already, so he doesn't move. Attack two, and he's going to set me on fire. No, he's going to make this fire symbol up here. <laughs> yeah. And you have wounds, so that means you're going to take like possibly three damage this turn. All right, how does wound work? You take one damage. I think it's you take one damage. Suffer damage at the start of your turn, remove when healed. So I have right. to heal you heal your wound off again. 
Okay, so he's gonna uh, attack me for two minus one, so I get one damage, and we got the fire symbol going. Um, that's not that bad. I'm gonna do something crazy. Well, you get one more point off for being wounded. Yeah, now I get yeah. Now it's my turn, so I get since I'm wounded, I get a point off. I think they got the wound and poison reversed. Um, I'm gonna move here and attack this guy. Okay. With the attack three plus ones four. I think he's dead. He's dead. That's good because he was the one wounding you. And then I'm gonna pull this guy out of a range of three, pull two, onto the trap. Okay, so now he's stunned. Yes. And does the trap do damage too? I don't know. Oops. I feel like we've had to look this up two or three times now. It's just a stun trap, right? I don't think it does damage. Where is the bit about traps? Um, yeah, it has to say that the effect is damage and not just stun. So he's just stunned. OK. OK. Next turn. No, not next turn, my turn. No, no, I mean, on his next turn, he'll be stunned. Oh, yeah. <laughs> OK. Um, he's shielded, right? Yeah. Shield? OK. Then I'm going to summon my battle bot um, right in front of me. He has attack. So it's not like my last guy that was just a decoy. And then I'm going to move on to this loot. I got a loot. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I'm doing. OK. Uh, this guy moves four, has a range of three. He's going to hit me. One, no, just move two. Yeah. The other, and shoot me for two times two. No. Damage. And what's that symbol? Muddle. Muddle. Wait, do, do you get muddled even if it doesn't say muddle on the red part? It does say muddle on the red part, though. Does it? Isn't that attack two and then the little symbol? Oh, yep. I see it. I couldn't see it. So are you down to two health? Yes. OK. Next turn. Yeah. I think I could use a heal. I, I'm on it. But it's going to take me to like middle of the round. Oh, and I have to do a short rest as well. Okay. I can turn myself invisible. That's probably not a bad plan. Can I target you if you're invisible? I don't know. Well, cannot be attacked. That's all it says. So yeah, I can totally heal you while you're invisible. And that guy's stunned. And if you're invisible, this spitting guy is going to target me unless I get behind my battle bot, which I can do. Do you lose if you want to redraw the card that, you, that you've lost? Hmm? How much health do you lose if you want to redraw the card? I think it's like two. I think you're right. So I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Burn it. 
Don't do that. I need to do that ability where I get this card back because it was a really nice card. Okay, I can't do it on this turn. Yeah. But I can do it eventually. Um, how hard are these guys? I guess, so I want to turn invisible. And then my next turn, attack from invisibility, right? Yeah. Actually, he's the same distance from both me and my battle bot, so he may actually hit my battle bot. Who is? The um, spitting guy. The spitting guy? I think mm -hmm. he can go after your battle bot. Yeah. Um, alternatively, I could, I might be able to kill this guy. Well, he's stunned, so I'm not worried about him so much. Why don't I, like, I can, I can hit him and I have an advantage because of your battle bots right next to him. Like, I can do extra damage. Okay. And then I can turn myself invisible with my cloak. Okay. Let's do that then. Okay. I would do that then. So that means I need to use this one. <laughs> They give me shield modifiers. No. I have forty seven, by the way, whenever you're ready. I got four. To target two people. But it's range. What is the range? One. Three. And the other guy's stunned, so. The other guy won't do anything. Yeah. Um, I mean, so the problem is, what I was going to do is I was going to hit this guy and then turn invisible. But if I do that, then the other guy is going to hit you and your battle bot. Wait, what is his range, though? Three. I'm out of range. We're both out of range. Oh, you're yeah, right. So you won't do anything. Yeah. If I'm invisible. OK, so that's the plan. I'm going to hit this guy. Um, I've got. Add plus two to your attacks this round, targeting enemies adjacent to none of their allies. He's not adjacent to any, any of his friends. And then I got this, attack plus three, and then plus two um, when target is adjacent to any of your allies. So that's true. So I, I get to add four to three. As long as you don't whiff. I'm going to use my goggles because if I get a whiff, then that would totally suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. I got seven plus zero or plus one. Eight okay. minus three is five, he's dead. Dead. And now you're invisible? And now, yeah, now I'm gonna use my cloak and turn invisible. Oh, and you also lost a point. Oh, that's right, so I have one hit you're point. Wounded. Okay, so here's my question. Do you want me to fix the wounding, probably, or heal you? If you heal me, it's just going to fix my wounding, I thought. No, so I can, 
we can decide to leave you wounded and just give you more hit points. Oh, I thought you had to do get the effects first. I, no? I don't think it said. I, I thought it was like, if you use a heal spell, it's going to be effects first. I don't, I don't know. I could be wrong. Where would that be? Page 26. Turn exit points to either themselves or one ally within hours range. Heels are always accompanied by one or two labels, range or self. Okay, that doesn't help. Okay, so where is wound? It just says remove one healed. Where's like the info about wound and poison and all that stuff? Conditions. It's on page 22 to 23. If figure is wounded, it suffers one point of damage at the start of each turn. If the heal ability is used on a wounded figure, the wound token is removed and the heal continues normally. Oh, we've been doing this wrong then. For poison, if heal's ability is used on poison, the poison token is removed and the heal has no other effect. Or for a wound, the wound token is removed and it still heals. Okay, sweet, then I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so how much do you heal me for? I'm healing you for four. Awesome. And then I'm shielding both of us. Okay. Until the end of next turn. So we both have plus one shield. Actually, I'm shielding us and the battle bot. So all, all three of us have a shield. Okay. Next round. Will you be horrified if I do a long rest right now? No. Okay, I'm gonna do a long rest. Does that, does that mean your battle bot's not going to move either? It's a good question. Or your battle bot will move, but it, it will have initiative 99, right? Yeah, I think that's the case. So it'll go at the very end. I feel like I need to close in and attack him. Okay, bye-bye. Don't want you. Definitely gonna be the next card I toss. Okay, you've got 99. <laughs> I've got three. <laughs> it has 87. I'm gonna move next to him, one, two. And I gain advantage on my attacks this round. Okay. And uh, I assume I'm still invisible because now I'm going to attack out of invisibility. I'm not sure if you were invisible or not, but I guess so. Otherwise, this card would never be able to be used. Because the other way to use this card is use this card to turn invisible. But if only if it doesn't last for the next round, then this card is no good. Yeah. I don't know. I think we've talked about this before. Oh, you know what? It's not that I'm invisible. It's more that, that there's a black uh, symbol, right? Oh, you're right. OK, so this, sorry, this card um, gives me plus two attack to use one of the black mana powers or whatever oh okay or when i turn invisible 
um, makes that black thing appear. Gotcha. So it's actually, when I'm invisible, it's when the black thing is there. Okay. But didn't you use your cloak? Yeah. And so the black thing is not there. And so okay. I don't get that bonus. Okay. So I just get this attack three, but I do get an advantage because of this card. Okay. I'm drawing two cards. Three times two, three plus zero, three times two, six. Yes. Wow. He still has two hit points. Now he's at a disadvantage. Yeah, but he moves, so he's just going to go. He's just going to move back one and then shoot me. Dang. Oh, was I muddled? What does muddle do? You were muddled, but I think that only lasts, yeah, it only lasts one round and it, you get disadvantage on attacks. So that last time you maybe shouldn't have been able to kill the Drake. I should have gotten a disadvantage on him. Right, but I drew two cards because I was at advantage. So I would have either killed him or killed him. Okay, so, then no so. worries. Um, but uh, he's going to hit me again, and I am muddled again. He's going to attack for four plus one, five points of damage. I think you're dead. I think I need a... You're going to have to do that discard to not take the damage. Yeah. How many? I think it's just one. And I think he's just discarded. It's not... It's not the... Um... Not lost? It's not lost, I don't think. points is pretty nasty. Oh no, it's one card. One card to lose from your hand or two cards to lose from your discard pile. Hmm. It's on page 28. So it is, it is a card loss, but I can get one card back for you. Okay, I'm losing Actually. the card. That's okay. That was worth it, I think. Um, you are resting. What does the battle bot do? He has a move of two, so he's just gonna like move two to right behind you because he's on his way to attack that guy, I guess. Okay. And you do your long rest. It's next round. I have to shut. Oh wait, off. hold on. You had one shield, so you could have taken. Oh, I would have one hit point left. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you don't know about that. Uh, up to you. I guess the question is, how quickly can you heal me? Well, I've got all my cards back, so I can heal you really quickly right now. I mean, quickly being a relative term, since I don't have any like threes and fours. So, I shouldn't lose that card. Um, up to you. I think I'll lose the card instead, because like... Okay. I'm still going to try to heal you, though, because you're low and that's concerning. Yeah. Okay, I've got 11. I have 17. Yeah, 
has 57. Oh man, it's an AOE. It only has two hit points left, so I think I can. I think I can kill it. Okay. If I hit it, uh, that's the problem. Um, all right, so I'm attacking three range four, so I'm just gonna shoot it. Mm -hmm. Plus zero, yay! At three points. Wait, but you're muddled, so you have disadvantage. Oh shit! Dun dun dun. Plus zero. Okay. And you're not muddled anymore. Okay, and then I have I still have move five. So like, where should I go? Um, if you stay close by, I can do some good stuff, like within a reasonable range. How about I go here then? Okay, that works. You could even go to the door if you wanted. No, I'm gonna stand next to the trap because then on my next turn I can disarm the trap for two experience points. Okay. All right. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is heal you for three. So you're back up to eight, I think. And then um, one ally within range three may recover one of their lost cards. So you now get one of your lost cards back. Excellent. Oh, what does the battle bot do? Oh, he is confused. So he moves. I don't know, because there's no bad guys. He's supposed to move towards bad guys. Yeah. And there's none. So then does he do nothing? Can you control him? I can't. I'm not supposed to. He's supposed to just move using bad guy rules, using monster rules. So, okay. so he doesn't do anything. Yeah, monster rules, he would, because there's nobody to attack, so you just sit there. Okay, next round. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see. Oh, which, uh, which of the three, four? We definitely want to go through this one, right? Because it's got a treasure chest. Yeah. And we've, we've killed three of them so far, right? Three drakes? Yeah. I feel like I should be keeping track of this somehow. How many drakes we've... These guys are defeated drakes. There. We've defeated three drakes so far. We okay. need to defeat five more. Um, I mean, we're kind of close to this room, so let, I can go through and we can go through it and then here. Okay. I think that makes sense. And there's... There's three more guys in this next room. Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay. Yeah. I've got 12. Oh, well, I don't have, I'm busy like strategizing. I need more thinking time. Okay. Except not really. I need to take, um, I need to take a long rest or use a potion at the end of this turn. Well, if we open the door, that's not the time to take a long rest. You almost should take the long rest now while the door is not open. Yeah. We have 18. Thank you, Mimi. Do I have to decide before or after? Oh, no, wait. I think I should. We already used him. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. So I don't want to take a long rest. Okay. And then either take a short rest or use a potion. Yeah, I'll just we'll, we'll see what the situation is. Okay. Okay, twelve and what what's yours? Eighteen. Okay. Um, I'm going to disarm this trap. Okay, grab my trap. Okay. And I'm going to, um, I'm 
I'm gonna move in a doorway. Okay. Reveal a flying drake there, a regular a green drake there. Same three guys, right? Uh, yeah, two two regular and a spitter. Yeah. Okay, so then the spitter. Six. And we want to get rid of these non-spitter rending ones fast since they wound. Oh no, they have range. And poison and target two. Ah! Yowza. Yikes, okay. I have, I have one move left. I don't think it can get you out of range though, can it? I can go back here. They're gonna, someone can go there and still shoot me. How much move do they have? Three? This guy has three, the other two have two. Okay. Yeah. Well, but the battle bot. The battle bot only has two movement. So if I move here, the battle bot will go here. Yeah. They'll still be able to hit you though, because they yeah. have target two. If I go here, the battle bot is only going to go here, or maybe here. Yeah. Um. This is going to be painful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know where, where I should be. I kind of feel like I should be here because it's going to hit me anyways. And that way the battle bot will be able to get closer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's going to hit you either way. So, okay. I'm using a stamina potion to grab two cards. Okay. Okay, I have that. Thank you, baby. Hey. You're the shopkeeper. <laughs> she doesn't want to be the shopkeeper. Ooh, what if I stand back? I know. Okay. All right. So the battle bot moves one, two next to you. Yeah, I can move the people too. And what I was planning to do is not going to be useful. These guys are hard. Yeah. Well, and this is our first time in a while playing normal. Okay, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move just right up behind you and then attack the air because nobody's in range, right? One, two, three. Yeah, nobody's in range. Wait, don't move right behind me. Don't move right behind you? Because the spitting Drake has AOE. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Then I'm going to go loot this tile over here for no reason, really. That was a waste of a turn, except I got some gold. Done. Tag the air. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see. That guy needs the range of three. Are you going to be dead because I am not, I didn't plan a heal? I don't know. Um, is the battle bot within the line of sight of this guy? Technically, yes. Okay, so then he shoots both me and the battle bot. Without moving? He doesn't have to move anymore? He, uh, he has a range of three. One, two, three. Wait, this, wait, which guy? The spitting guy? No, the rending Drake 54. Oh. This guy? Okay, I thought you only had a range of two. Nope, another way around. Dang it. 
Why do you get to you look in the chat? If we get there, May, you've got to be patient. Does this make it easier to see? Last time you pulled him. No, that makes it worse. No, last time you pulled him. I understand, kiddo. Um, okay, that makes it easier to see, but only seeing a little bit of it. That's enough, though. But then you have to scroll. I know. It's not that bad, though. No, that's not terrible. It's really chunky on my screen. It's a bit chunky on my screen, too. It's not in the pack well. Well, anyways, he, uh, <laughs> he's going to um, wound and poison. Wound and poison? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, I guess me first, drawing a, oh, now you don't see the thing on the, on the thing, the bottom. He whiffed, actually. He whiffed? Does that mean he still poisons and wounds you? Or does I he have to hit? He just oh, what? Misses. what? I thought it meant he just completely misses. Yeah, that's what I thought it meant too. So we'll call it that. Okay, but he does hit the battle bot for one point of damage and wounds and poisons it. Okay, that's fine. That's sort of what the bottle bat battle bat bottle bat. Not bottle bat. Battle bot is four. <laughs> bottle bat. Bottle bat. Bottle bat. He's a battle bot. Bo bottle bat. Bottle wow. bat. This guy moves two, one, two, and doesn't do anything because we're not in range. Okay. The other guy moves three, attack two, models, range two. Um, range two, so he needs to be in one of these spaces. Well, he, he can do that. One, two. Yeah. Uh, and then hits both of us. Mm -hmm. Please don't do that to the thing. It's damage. Um, so me first. Two minus one is one, and I'm muddled. I hate when you're muddled. And then on the battle bot, plus zero. So two points of damage on a battle bot, uh, and muddled. Man, the battle bot is now just like. A hot mess. <laughs> it's yeah. like it's it's like got sparks coming out of it. The battle bot is this guy. <coughs> I summoned him. The bottle bat. Yeah, that guy. That's one of my powers, yes. Um, geez. I'm going to have to take a short rest after this, I think. Okay. Oh, I've got terrible cards now. Um, I'm sorry. 23. 19. You've got 13 and 27. OK, so those guys first. Attack two, move three, attack two. So the first attack doesn't happen. Move three. One, two, and then attack the battle bot. Yeah. For two damage, uh, minus one for one damage. Okay. And the other guy is just going to move three. One, two, three, I guess. I guess so. And attack the air because there's not anybody to. Right. And then your turn. Ooh, hopefully you can do a crazy AoE on them. 
Um, I think I can. Okay, so first the BattleBot attacks this guy in front. Well, actually, first the BattleBot takes one damage because he's wounded. Yeah. And then um, the BattleBot hits for hits this guy for two. The guy that's in the doorway plus zero, so just for two. Okay. And then I move up behind the battle bot, I guess. One, two. And then I am using my net shooter, which is attack three, range three, and immobilize. Um, so let's start with the guy in the doorway. Attack three minus one, but immobilized. Two so points. he's stuck in the door. But I, I did two damage. Mm -hmm. And then I guess the other rending drake plus zero, so three and immobilize. And then the spitting guy is plus one, so four attack and immobilized. So they're all stuck. Not that it matters because we're right there, but they're all stuck. Yeah, my turn. Um, I'm attacking this guy for three plus zero. He has three, so he's dead. The guy, the guy in the doorway? Yeah. Okay. So we're up to four. Oh, I also use a, my stamina potion, just FYI. Okay. And I'm, I'm turning invisible. Smoke bomb. And then I have to do a short rest. Wait, even with Muddle? Or is Muddle gone by now? Muddle's gone now. Now you're invisible. I don't know. Can we draw another card, just in case? Yeah, I guess so. Plus one. He's still dead. OK. Dead or dead. Running low on cards. Um, okay. I can oh, man. <laughs> help with that, but I can help with that, but only if you're even closer to me than you are now. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, Okay. I have six cards now. Okay. But I have all of them, except for these two. Jeez. Uh, They've got four and four. And both immobilized. For, both of them have four? Yeah. And immobilized, so they can't move. Right. Okay. But they're probably going to have a ranged attack of some sort, because that's, that's what they seem to like doing. Is what they seem to like to do. But I'm also, I've got the black token right now, so I should probably take advantage of it. Yes, that's a good plan. I forget to pay attention to those. I should probably be telling you more often that we have something. But I feel like I don't often, every once in a while I give you the leaf one. But nobody uses it, so I just don't even bother telling you. It's only the black one that matters for me. Okay. Um, I've got three. I have 17. Oh, my battle bot's going to die this turn. Oh, wow. They're fast this time. I'm faster. I'm using my wing shoes. 
to move one, two, three, right there. No, right here. So I'm on okay. top. Of the on top of the loot. Mm -hmm. And I gain advantage on my attacks. And then I'm using this attack three uh, plus two if there's a black coat. So five plus one or plus one. Six points on, on this one, sorry. Okay, goodbye. That's good, because he was about to heal himself. Kapow. Yeah. The other guy has move and attack, so he's going to move. He doesn't need to move. He's going to attack me for two. Because you're no longer invisible? Right. He okay. You. He attacks you for two or one? One, but I'm wounded. Oh, wounded again. I cannot keep you unwounded. And he's no longer immobile, right? Yeah. yeah. It ended at the end of his turn. Okay, my turn. Yep. All right. So, sadly, the battle bot dies of his wounds this turn. Bye, bye, battle bot. Huh? You still have a skelly at some point. Yeah, but I'm trying to save the skelly. Yeah. I feel like there will be bad guys ahead, monsters ahead. Okay. So now, let's see. One, three. So I'm going to move two, one, two, and heal you for three. Grab the loot. I don't really want to be next to the guy. Yeah, you do. Then I'll get a bonus. OK, fine. I'll go there. <laughs> fine. I'll loot treasure. OK. Oh man, I'm running out of cards. I'm gonna have to either do a long rest or a short rest at the end of this turn. Mm -hmm. If we can defeat this guy, I'm gonna take a long rest. If we don't defeat the guy, I'm doing a short rest. We can defeat him, I'm fairly certain. Okay. Whose hit points are you tracking, kiddo? Three. She's Five. tracking hit points. Five. Oh, you're Five. tracking all of it? Oh, why Five. is this not one? Four. You have four? Five. I have 18. Oops. I put 19 in. Let's hope he doesn't have 18. He has 13. <laughs> oh, man, he's going to hit. Oh, he's going to hit you twice. I'm going to kill him first, I think. OK. I will uh, track a five. Yeah, I would attack a five. Just don't whiff. Plus one. Ooh, dead. You're still wounded, though, so you get minus one hit point. Oh, yeah. OK. Oh, wait, no. Did I heal you after you got wounded? No, not just now. Yeah, I, I healed you on my last turn. Oh. Yeah, wow. you're not wounded. Okay. How much do I have? Six? You are you have nine hit points, according to me. I didn't even nine. catch that you healed me. Okay. Nine. Yeah. And okay. My, um, my other move? Uh, move two and loot every hex that you move in. My hit points <laughs> and more. When they change. Okay, I'll let you know. Well, you'll be able to see on the hit point things. Okay, Your so turn. I now have nothing to do, so I'm just gonna start moving towards that final room. One, two, at wh whack in the air, and this next turn I'm taking a long rest. Okay. Uh, next round. You have four and nine. No, I'm I have tracking rest. I'm gonna go. I'm actually left. tracking your moves now. Oh, you're tracking my moves now? Okay. Yeah. What am I gonna get rid of? I'm moving one, two, three, four. 
No. I'm gonna double that card. One, two, three, four, five. And then two more, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm just here on top of this loot. I don't have any spent items to refresh. Okay. How many I'm cards do you have in your hand, Mark? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm about to do a long rest, so, so I'm going to have okay. five. Mark has okay. and five for fight. Okay, I don't. That's how much move. How much move each one you do. How much one more you get. Oh, okay. That's exciting. I guess I can't spell you through the door, can I? Spell me through the door? I can't, like, heal you through the door. I can't throw an elixir on your head through the door. I guess not. Would it have been better if I let, if I ended up in the doorway? Because I could have done that. That would be better for me, uh, me being able to heal you. Okay. But then you wouldn't have looted that tile, right? Yeah. I'll put the loot back. <laughs> We're such cheaters. <laughs> Because okay. we're going into the last room, which I'm going to look at your hit point and see we've which one is the biggest number. We only need to kill two more drakes, so the biggest number on each of your hit points is how much I'm putting it on you. We are in the next room. There's three three of them and a fire demon in the next room. Oh Jesus. But there's a chest. Yeah. So, so we have to kill two of them without and and getting the chest. Yeah, we. If you don't want to get the chest, that's fine too. But they do have a lot of hit points, so it shall probably take us a little while to kill them, assuming don't we don't. Kill them. Because I've got a, I still have my ring of skulls I can use, but he's very squishy. He only has three hit points, so. I'm waiting until things are spawned and stuff. Well, anyways. He's stupid. He'll just walk into a trap. You're doing a long rest. What were you doing? I did a long rest, and now um, now I have 20. <laughs> you can so, do a trap. No, I don't. I need the skeleton. So I'm moving four. One, two, three, four. Actually, three, four. So I'm up against the wall. Up against the wall. Yeah. I see I'm Actually, I'm going to do three so that I get that loot. And now I am healing you for three. Okay. So you should be I'm, back up to full health now? I am, yes. Okay, perfect. And that's my turn. Okay. I, I honestly don't know if we can kill. <laughs> well, we only have to kill two of them. We don't have to kill all four. Yeah. And I still have um, my goggles for advantage. And actually, I still have leather armor, which gives them disadvantage. So it might be good for me to, I don't know. And I have my skeleton. And I have boots of striding. So like I've saved up all my stuff for the most part, except for my piercing bow and my elixir of stamina. So I should be able to do a fair amount of. Do you have any way to deal with those three traps that are in front of the door? I have no way to deal with traps. I just get stunned. Um, I'll need trap those in great detail when I have. My discard pile. Hmm? My trap card is in my discard pile. Um, um, I don't have that card in my hand anymore. I can jump over the traps. Maybe you can. Well, I can. I can summon a skeleton to be stunned for a moment and then go in. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Wait, how far can the skeleton move? Two. 
Okay. But not until after the one after he's been summoned. Yeah, I know. Hmm. But I do have a bunch of ranged spells, so ranged. They're not spells, actually. They're like poisoned arrows and things. Poisoned crossbow bolts. I so what if I open the door and run back? Maybe they'll come and get stunned. Oh, that's a good call. Mm-hmm. As long as we stay at least four back, they'll have to like walk on them to get to us. Okay. But then we won't get the treasure. Ooh. Yeah, okay. This is kind of crazy, but we'll try it. All right, I've got four. I have 18. Wait, I can shoot over these boulders, right? I think so. Okay. Okay, first I am moving three. One, two, three. Because if I'm floating. And then I'm moving five more. So four. And then we got these guys. That stupid fire demon is in the middle of all that. I know. Life is me on you. That's experience points. What? Is hit points, uh, health points. So how much health you have? Okay, so I still have four movement. This is what they're going to be doing. That's really hard to read. All adjacent enemies suffered two damage. Here, let me try this. Oh, but that's only if there's a there's a fire element. Move three, attack one, range of three, and wound, target two. Move three. Yeah. He flies, so he's not going to trigger a trap. This guy flies, so he's not going to trigger a trap. But he's only going to move three. He won't be in range if I back up. The other guys move two. They're just going to trigger a trap. Yeah. That is for if we were using the cards for the bad guys instead of the app for the bad guys. So this guy, he's if I here, they're all going to attack me. If I move back, like to here. OK. If I do that, then this guy's going to move one, two, like he's gonna move like here or something or here or, or on it maybe in the doorway. Wait, so if they're flying, do they never land? Is can they just sit on that? Where's the book? Can they just sit so. on that? Or do they actually land at the end of their I don't know. That's a good question. I think they just float. Okay, only if they lose their flying trait while occupying an obstacle. So if it's not flying on the next round, then it, it would get stunned. Well, if I move here, it's going to move here and shoot me. Mm -hmm. I need to move. It has a range of three. Yeah. I need to move back here. 
forcing him to move here and then shoot me. That way I can run up here and attack him next turn without having to go on the trap. Okay. That's what I do. That's my movement. I move eight. It's your turn. Okay. Um, well, I cannot, I guess I can get in range. Oh, then, if you summon shoot at me. You go after a skeleton instead of me. Oh, right. I'm going to summon the skeleton. Skeleton summoned. And he goes right there. So, will he be closer? He'll be the same distance. So, I think you still are targeted. Yeah. Well, he targets. And, well, he, he targets. He's going to target both of us. Oh, right. yeah. He's got to shoot. Okay. Um, So I can no longer get in range because then he'll come in and shoot me. Like if I get within range to shoot him, I guess I'm at full health though. How much is he doing? Attack one, but wound. Uh, I guess that's maybe worth it to try. And then you guys won't get hit. It'll just be me or me and the, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two, and then I'm going to attack six, range five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to attack him for six. Um, okay. I'm going to use my goggles for advantage. And so let's see, plus zero or plus one. Okay, so I attacked for seven. Wow, he's dead. He is, he's dead. Here we go. No he's worries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running out of cards again though. Cause I've been using, I've actually been having to use my big powerful cards that like b burn my cards. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and in the past, I haven't had to do that, so now I'm a hot mess. The spinning drake moves three. One, two, he's just going to move on top of the loot and then is not within range to attack us. Mm -hmm. The rending drakes both move two. One, two. I guess I'll just flank them. Sure. Also not within range, so that's their move. Okay. So are we both at full health? We are both at full health. Okay, I don't need to heal this turn then. That was totally not expected. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly ever have to use that card because usually we're fighting an easy level and it's like a complete overkill. So I don't use it. I use it to like walk around more, you know? Yeah. Uh, do you have another AOE? <laughs> I do, I have two AOEs. Oh, okay. But not a, I can't kill them. They, they're pretty high health, so I can't kill them with my AOEs. Yeah, just soften them up. We still need, we need one of these guys to go over one of the traps, or your skeleton to go over one of the traps, so that we yeah. can not have to deal with the traps. <laughs> Okay, uh, I've got 36. I have 17. Oh, 
Oh, sheesh. Brendan Drake's going to move five and attack two oh, and break. Two, range three. Okay, these guys first. Move five, attack two. One, two, stun. Yep. One, two, stun. One, two, stun. It worked. <laughs> They're stunned. <laughs> now it's your turn. Okay. That's exciting. Um, all right, I'm gonna move. Oh wait, first my skeleton's gonna move, one, two. And he's going to hit um, the one that's not next to the boulder for two. Plus zero, so he hits this, this one that's not next to the boulder for two. Okay. And then I am going to back up two spaces so that I'm kind of behind the boulder, but in line with the door. Yeah. And I am going to ink bomb them. Oh my gosh, so much, so much experience on this one. Okay, I'm gonna ink bomb them, which is attack four, range three, and it puts the dark thing up. The dark, the like eclipse looking one? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I guess the one behind the boulder first. Um, it's attack four plus one, so attack five on that guy. Okay. And then um, the other guy is attack four plus zero, so four on that guy. There's one hip left. And I have to take a short rest at the end of this turn. This guy has one, this guy has two. Sweet. We might not get that treasure though. We might not get the treasure. In fact, it's unlikely, I think, that we get the treasure. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could forego attacking. But in order to get in the door, you now have to like run around them, right? I could take a long rest and use my winged boots again at some point, which I might have to do because I have to do a rest of some sort anyways. My skeleton's gonna kill one of them on the next turn, no matter what. Unless, unless he, he whiffs. Yeah, unless he whiffs. Uh, I think we're going to have to forego the treasure. Yeah, I think so. Or, wait, I can move. I can move here. One, two. Ah, oh, geez. <laughs> Range four. Hmm. I do this. I do what I want to do. I'll see you. Okay. Later. If I do a short rest. It's 10 spaces if this guy's not in your way. Well, I'm going to be here at the end of this turn. And the next turn, I could just run here while you kill the last person. Yeah, because we get to go to the end of the round. Yeah. And right. And but also, I'm probably going to go before your skeleton anyways. Probably, yeah. So we need to kill one of them just so I can get through the door. Right. What's this guy doing? 
Yeah, he's just gonna shoot. He's gonna shoot the skeleton probably. Yeah. But he might kill the skeleton. Yeah, skeleton only has three hit points. Okay, so I need to I need to kill one of these guys. <laughs> that's, okay, that's clear. <laughs> so I'm gonna shoot this guy. Okay. Um. For three, I guess I'll use my goggles because it would suck if I miss now. Times two. Plus zero. This, he's dead. Super dead. Super dead. And then I can move four. So I could move it here and then he would shoot me, but I can soak it up because I have enough hit points right now. Yeah. And who cares about muddle if you're just trying to run through the chest? One, two, three, four. Or okay. I could also end up on a loot. I'm going to end up on a loot. <laughs> Okay, and now his turn. He has a range of three. One, two, three. Doesn't need to move. Shoots me. Or four. He whiffs. Wow. Yeah. Sweet. And now it's next round. Next round. And I'm, I'm doing a short rest. Yeah, I did one too. And hoping that one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's fine. Man, thank God for like really fast move cards. I have three. I have 17. Oh, one of the one of the guys died. I forgot to remove the guy. Okay, me first. Um I'm moving seven spaces, basically, with those two cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then that's my turn. OK. So the rending drake goes. Attack two, move three, attack two. So first he does attack two on the skeleton. Yep. Draws a negative one, so one point of damage on a skeleton. OK. And a wound. And a wound. Delta's not dead, so the Drake's not going to move. He'll attack again. Yeah. Drawing a times two, four points of damage. He dead. <laughs> 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 bye bye, skeleton. <laughs> okay, now it's your turn. Okay. Um, all right, I'm using my boots of striding, and I'm moving one, two, three. And then I am doing attack three and wound and with my flamethrower. Can you point your camera down a little bit so I can see where you're? Yeah. Okay, you're right next to him. Okay. Okay, so attack three and wound with my flamethrower. <laughs> and we're going to hope I don't whiff plus zero. So three and wounded and on fire, he dead. dead. We win. We win. And we got the stupid loot chest. Yes. Exciting. So what did we get? Oh, let's read the final thing and then and then we can do all of the end of thing things. I'll, I'll read the conclusion since you read all of the beginning stuff. OK. The waves of red scaled lizards seem unending, but you have harvested a significant number of corpses and make a calculated retreat. At the mouth of the cave, you break into a full sprint, and the drakes don't seem too interested in pursuing you. 
you begin the strenuous task of lugging the hides back to the crooked bone. Hale silently takes the bloody mass of scales from you when you arrive and then disappears for a good two hours. When she returns, she holds out a handful of small blue orbs. Okay, so all you need to do is lodge one of these into your throat when you go underwater and it should filter your inhaling and exhaling into the water. It will be incredibly painful and you'll have a beast of a time getting them back out when you get back on dry land. I don't know you at all, but it should get the job done. Hale grins from ear to ear. I'm very happy with the result, actually. Thanks for providing the interesting challenge. Now get out of my house. <laughs> She's farming. We get the global achievement water breathing. Awesome. Yay! Just number 35 is Drake Scale Boots. Which you I, get for yourself, I think. It's yeah, not the design. Right, it's just gained the item. Wow. Let's see. I might give it to you because I like my wing boots. Drake scale boots. By the way, I did not do my seri uh, my my challenge card. For once Wait. in my life, for once in this character's life, I got too much experience. I was supposed <laughs> to stay under seven. So sad. I got 13, not seven. I completed mine. That's good. Mine was um, trigger a trap, either yourself or forcing somebody else onto one. Oh man, that's so easy for you. Yeah. We're, we, we were level two, right? Uh, the difficulty, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see what these Drake scale boots. That means we get three gold per loot this time too. Hmm. Oh. Are we allowed to trade? I thought we figured out that we're not allowed to trade. Yeah, but it's a magic item. Oh, if if I don't, yeah, it still has a gold value. So it's, I would have to sell it to the store and then you would have to buy it, I think. Oh, uh, okay. Is it any good? You are unaffected by difficult and hazardous terrain. Hmm. That's right pretty good, but being able to jump over enemies is better. Yeah, and well, I don't have jump over enemies, but I have add two move, which is useful for me because all my move cards are like really low move. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need to find this and add it to the store because I'm just going to sell them. Okay. It's, uh, item number 98 on the back. Okay, let me see. Somebody rearranged all my stuff, so. I mean, they're pretty cool looking boots. Uh-huh. I don't think I have space for anything else, so. Jump to the movement. I have 41 gold. I'm also sort of saving up for enhancements. I don't remember how to pull up the keyboard. Oh, here we go. I have a hundred one gold. How much uh, XP do we get for that? Uh, we get eight XP. Eight. That's one. Seven. 
think I did this wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I think I have that. I think I did the math wrong. We'll have to look at the recording, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I might have leveled up, but maybe not. It depends. I did not level up, even though I got way more experience than usual. I did get a perk, though. Oh, cool. Oh, I can do our water breathing. Global achievement. Where is it? There it is. And then, okay, so this allows us to do 26 or 37. Um, let me see what we've unlocked. We've unlocked 26, but not 37. Twenty six is I think the one down in the yeah, the ancient cistern. Oh wait. Through the ruins. Cool. So next time we can actually go deal with what's poisoned. Uh, what's poisoned the watering hole, as it were. Yeah, sounds good. Mm Anyway, now that we're in the midst of doing all of the updating, right? <laughs> yeah. Update I character. character. Hmm? I said I just updated my character. Cool, cool. I have all this gold. Maybe I, we should start um, donating to the church or whatever, because if you donate like 10 times or whatever, you get something, right? I think so. Um, but there's also, don't forget that there's the enhancements. So you could be enhancing your, um, where'd it go? Abilities? Oh, right. Yeah. You add stuff onto these dots here. We do, um, eventually we get to open envelope B, we have to donate 100 gold to the sanctuary. I have 101. I could just do it all right now. You could. Oh, we get to open, because our party reputation went up to 10 today, so we get to open a box. Ooh. Which box? The one that looks like the sun. This one. Are you ready for the unboxing? Yeah. What this is? I'm starting with the, the character thingy. It is... Uh, it looks like a demon with a, with a hammer. Let's check it. What? Trap stuck to my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> the sun. Sun. Uh -huh. It is. Oh, it's even got a seal and everything. I can't get it open. Aha, okay. It is a sun keeper. Sun keeper. 
Though their demon-like qualities make them feared by many, Valrafs are, for the most part, well-mannered and gentle, preferring to solve problems through diplomacy rather than violence. They come from a dark emblem. Wasn't Jexera a Valrath? I don't know. I don't know either. They come from a dark and bloody heritage of genocide and warfare, and as they have become more civilized, have simply made concerted efforts to put their past behind them. Valrafs pride themselves on being able to integrate themselves peacefully into human society, often becoming wealthy merchants or influential politicians. The most prideful of the Valrafs can be found in the sect of Sunkeepers, those who have been trained to tap into long dormant demonic powers and harness them for the purpose of righteousness. A Sunkeeper goes merely beyond forsaking her heritage and instead uses it to uplift society, healing others and rebuking evil forces. They often travel the world seeking out situations where they can demonstrate their brilliant powers. I wonder what kind of, I think this is like another, this is like another healer type. I'm not sure. It sounds like a support, a support, like maybe a paladin type. She's got a shield and a hammer, but I'm not, neither of us can retire yet. So this is all academic. Yeah. Just another option. <laughs> the, um, the miniature, you know, how the, the leg is, the knee is sort of, you know, it, yeah. Anime knees. <laughs> yes, yeah, she does kind of have anime knees. <laughs> so yeah, paladin type, I guess. I'm not really sure. Let me look at the cards. Am I allowed to do that? I don't know. I, I'm not gonna. I bet I can look at level one. I won't look at beyond level one. Oh yeah, she's totally a paladin. There's a lot of blessed and heal. Holy strike, hammer blow, defensive stance, laying on of hands. Yeah, she's a paladin. I mean, a sun keeper, but totally a paladin. Yeah. That's cool. I still don't think that helps us necessarily with the tanking problem though. Okay, that's exciting. Where's the thing about donating? Oh, right here, envelope B. Mm -hmm. Why don't I just do it right now? We can open up envelope B. Okay. I'll just X that then. Party gold one. I now have one gold. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, so, you know, I've been getting all the gold for all the loot, but I spent it on the party. Thank you. Because you have been looting all of the gold. Yeah. Makes it very hard to uh, equip myself. Ooh. I don't know what I expected. We got an extra... We gain a prosperity. Oh, nice. This is cool. What does this mean? You can keep donating gold? Yeah, and as you donate gold, it ups the prosperity. Every 50 gold plus one prosperity. Yeah, and we get one prosperity now. 
we're almost able to start characters at level three. And then we also get this card. Yeah, that's the thing that gave us one prosperity. Oh. Sorry, I read it. Donations have been a true boon to the sanctuary and to the city as a whole. The caretaker of the sanctuary of the Greek, Greek Oak. Is that supposed great to be? Oak. Is that supposed to be Great Oak? Mine says Great. Oh, mine says Great Oak. <laughs> <laughs> Stands before you, clearly in awe of your generous contributions. This will surely have a noticeable impact on the city. But rest assured, we could always use additional gold or aid. <laughs> Both. <laughs> we could always use additional gold. Yeah. We haven't done any of the achievements for those first two special condition things. Oh, dude, if we had gone the other direction and been tanking our reputation, we would have gotten to open a different one. Mm. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should do that now. <laughs> <laughs> no, because then we have to pay extra at the store. I like my discount. It's nice to have a discount. Oh. Apparently we there should be new items. I'm not sure we've done this. Yep, she has silly ears. 15 to 21. Because of our reputation? Yeah. Or no, the city prosperity. The prosperity. We have what? We were supposed to take items fifteen to twenty-one, and put them in the in the thing in the shop. Oh goodness! All sorts of interesting stuff. Damn it! I just spent all my gold. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsies! <laughs> You'll have more gold like in five minutes next time. Yeah. Boots of speed. 15 to 21. A cloak with pockets. Well, pockets. Pockets are exciting. They are exciting. A battle axe. All progressive. <laughs> <laughs> a mobilize, a, a net. Mana potions and stun powder. That's exciting. We should have been playing with that for like the last bit. It's ridiculous. Carry two additional items. Yeah. Oh wait, but I have a cloak of invisibility. That seems a little bit more useful. <laughs> I'm trying to decide whether I want that because I hardly ever use the leather armor. And it might be useful to have like um, not a mana potion, maybe, but stun powder and maybe a healing potion. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think oh. I'm gonna. I'm getting the cloak of pockets. You can attack two things with the battle axe. I can, but I have a piercing bow. So, so how much does it sell back for? Dagger. How much gold do I get for selling my leather armor back? Half of it. Half of it? Okay. So I get 10, but then I'm spending 20. So that's only minus 10. So that's 31. Oh wait, no, because I get minus two, so minus eight because of our reputation. Minus eight, and then if I, well, the heck with you, cloak of pockets. And then I want the stun powder, 
which minus two is 18, 26. And a healing potion, right? Which is 10 minus, it's 34, minus 34. Perfect. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm going to start recording. <laughs> Since we're shopping. Yeah. <laughs>